Silverman was at C I think it was CBS, yes, at the time. And he came in one time, he said, geez, I want to, I like to, why don't we do a mystery show? So, oh yeah, and he said, uh, uh, he wanted to call it uh, uh, the Mystery Hour or something unoriginal like that. Then he had a thing called I, 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 I Am Scared, which you wrote that way. Never will make a title, I mean, who's going to say it that way, you know? So Paley in New York threw him out. And after that, we finally just left it as, I forget, the mystery show, and did artwork on it and took it back to New York. And again, Paley threw him out because he said it was too scary. So now, the idea came up, let's add the dog. Because first of all, dogs are great. And Hanna-Barbera has at least a hundred dogs they've developed over the years that they use, from Muttley, you know, with a Snicker and Scooby-Doo. So anyway, we threw Scooby in there, and we had some personality touches, which were great. In other words, he would eat anything, anywhere, at any time. Sh Shaggy will eat anything, anywhere, at any time. You had this comp competition between them as far as eating. They would eat wax fruit off the table, these two guys, you know. So that became a funny gimmick that the kids must have liked and bought. Otherwise, it wouldn't be going today. Then we had the brainy girl and the attractive but, but intelligent gal. And then we had the boyfriend who is not uh, the brightest, you know. But in the meantime, if we ever get going on it again, I have, a, I have three stories waiting to go, putting them all on a different avenue, a different kind of, of, of entertainment, scarier. And it's going to be great if we ever get to it. I don't know. But Scooby-Doo turned out to be the sleeper of all time. You know, I mean, that's a half-hour show. That's not a short. Every one of them is a half-hour. Every one of them, like, I'll give an example of what I'm thinking about for Scooby, if I ever can get to it. I want to do uh, Scooby, uh, 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 Scooby, uh, the Scooby Wo Woodstock. Scooby-Doo goes to Woodstock. And he and his gang are going up in this little van. And, and they're, they're a group now. They have instruments. And they arrive at Woodstock, and there's nobody there. Just this dark, empty field. And then the zombies show up. I'm sorry, I forgot. The zombie Woodstock. Mm -hmm. They go to the, to the Woodstock not knowing it's a zombie Woodstock. And these zombies show up. Oh, they're doing this, you know. The whole bunch of them. One arm falls off or whatever is necessary. And then they won't let them go. They want them to keep playing. And they got to out trick them somehow or other. So it's a perfect vehicle for them especially with Scooby jumping in his arms every two minutes. You know? So that's part of the thinking that I'm doing right now.